Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how we can get some free jumper wire to perform HDMI trace repair on circuit boards. So what I have in front of me is a old broken microwave or what I believe is broken which I picked up earlier on this morning off the scrap. So basically someone left this outside their house for the scrap man to take and I picked it up on the way back from dropping my son off at school. So the reason I picked this up is because I wanted to basically harvest one of the motors out of the microwave and then the rest of the microwave will go onto the scrap pile because my brother-in-law is a scrap man so I'll just phone him and tell him to come pick it up when you've got time. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to strip this down and you do want to make sure that the machine has been turned off for at least 48 hours before you do this just for safety precautions. What we're going to be using for this is literally just a iFixit kit. So this is just my normal iFixit kit and basically I'm going to open this up, I'm going to take the back panel off and then I'll show you where the fan is on this microwave. So I'm going to flip the microwave upside down so I can get to the screws, just some normal Phillips screws. We've got one, two, three, four and I'm just going to get these screws removed so I'm going to use the PH2 bit for this just to get these screws off so we've got one little bit tight but I don't actually own a normal set of screwdrivers so these ones will have to do unfortunately two three And four, and then we've probably got some just on this side here. So let's flip this around once again. Uh, we don't, okay, cool. So there's four screws there. Then sometimes you'll find some screws on the bottom, and sometimes you'll find some on the side as well. Uh, but in this case, there is none. So just remove any screws that you see which might be holding the casing. And we're just going to Try open the side if we can. And yep, there is a screw there. So we've got a screw on the side there. So let's remove that. You might want to wear gloves for this. I, I can't really wear gloves. I can't stand the feel of them. But you might want to wear gloves because microwaves, they belong in the kitchen. So they're probably going to end up greasy and stuff. And uh, like I said, this one was off the scrap. So actually know where it's been if I'm being honest but I'll make sure I I'll make sure that I'll sterilize my hands afterwards okay there we go good right so if we take a look over this side then we can see we've got all of the electronics but what we've also got is this fan just here and this is just basically the cooling fan but it's got some perfect jumper wire inside it. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to extract this fan. And there's actually only a couple of screws just on the back, just here. So it should be relatively simple to get this fan out. just get these clips out if we can doesn't matter if you break the clips if you're harvesting the fan out of it um, there we go okay 
So let's just disconnect these wires. You can break the wires away as well. I'm not really too fussed. There's obviously other things that you can harvest in this, but I don't bother. I just basically take the fan out of them and that's pretty much it. There we go. Okay, that's pretty much all I need out of this. You can, of course, take things like this transformer. This might, a transformer might come in useful to some people. But like I said, for now, all I, all I really take is this bit here. So I'm done with this, so I don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna push that to one side. I'll screw that back in later on. And then I've just got the fan here. So this is just a normal fan. Obviously just a normal fan. But like I said, it makes perfect jumper wire. So we just unscrew that, take out the screws. There we go. Take off the blades and then we're left with just the motor. So what we need to do then, I can't do it in the house because I'm in the house. But what you need to do is basically take a hammer and just basically smash off the sides. So just take a normal hammer, hit the sides, hit that side, and this should then basically just pop out. But then what you've got inside there is pretty much a lifetime supply of jumper wire. Um, basically for free. I mean, you know, if you pick it up, if you pick this up from in the street, then you've got this basically for free. And this is exactly the same jumper wire that I use for HDMI trace repair on Xbox Ones, PlayStation 4s and things like that. And basically what I do is just coil it up onto a separate spool and then I've got pretty much a lifetime supply. There's probably miles and miles of, of actual jumper wire there and it's much more than you're going to need for you know the jobs that you do. When you think about it, you only use around about 4 inches for a full 19 pin HDMI trace repair so you really don't need a lot at all but yeah that's going to be it for this video I hope you found it helpful let me know what you think down in the comments down below if you want to see more videos like this be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so that you're notified every time that I upload and if you enjoy what I do you can support the channel for as little as £1.99 per month just click on the join button down below and you can become a channel member but that's going to be it for this video thank you very much for watching and until next time see you later